alien freaking limb syndrome. It is so crazy, but what's more surprising is not why it happens, but what it says about it. It's a very rare disorder, and most commonly it comes, I believe, from a brain injury that like separates the communication between the two hemispheres. And essentially, people lose control of an arm, a leg. Most of the time, it's the left arm. It's not that like that left arm doesn't work anymore. It's that they don't control it, or they don't control it consciously. People will be trying to do something and the left arm will be interfering. It will, when you're tying your shoe, it'll untie the shoe. One of the common things is like the hand will just play with your hair and stroke your face. There's even cases of people waking up to their left arm trying to choke them. Essentially, the corpus callosum, which bridges the right hemisphere with the left hemisphere, is damaged and that's what's causing these issues. Without that bridge, the dominant brain can't control the other side. So what is the other side? acting from that subconscious mind. My question to you is how much of your behavior is actually you or how much is coming from these programmed responses, your conditioning, your learned behaviors that you attach rational thought to in a rear. That's why shadow work and diving into your subconscious mind and learning to become the programmer, not the program. This is why it's paramount because if you want more control in all of this, you need more control of this. Before you can deprogram, if you really want to take control, you need to become aware of your program. I'm telling you, you are not your programming. Set a space of love and awareness for yourself. Sit down with the intention to just learn, not judge, and become observant of your programming, your thoughts, the way you think, how you think about things. What triggers you? What doesn't trigger you? Why does it trigger you? Once you do this in a very real way, you can deprogram yourself and stop getting in your own way. Nothing outside of you that you need to pull in. Not some distance away where you need to keep pulling it. You just need to stop the block that is keeping it from you. You don't need to send energy out this way. You need to focus it here. Go inwards, remove the block, deprogram the programming, and then you receive it. A very, very real principle. And when you realize just how much the subconscious controls, you realize how important it is for you to become the master of your subconscious.